Hey, welcome back to Basic Word. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you an update that Microsoft has pushed out for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint on the iPad. Microsoft have taken full advantage of trackpad and mouse support on iPad OS 14, uh, and they're dubbing this uh, fluid navigation and precise control. I'm going to show you examples of how this works on um, all three of those applications. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's open up Word. This is the new interface that you'd be presented with when you open up Word. Uh, we can go ahead and click on a document and it'll open up that document. Okay, so what are these precise controls? Let me show you what we're talking about. If I go down to, um, the cursor now is adaptive, okay? So it, like, for example, if I go to the ribbon up here, this was the case anyway. It would click on, it will snap onto, you know, parts of the ribbon. So it's adaptive, but what's more impressive is the fact that it's adaptive to the ribbon. It's content aware. So if I go onto the picture now, check this out. If I, if I select this picture and I go to the corners, can you see that? How the cursor's actually changed. If I go to this corner, you've got these two um, arrows here. So I can adjust this picture. Look at this, I can adjust that picture. If I go to the center, look, if I'm going on the picture, can you see those, um, you can see the four arrows? So I can pick it up and move it. Okay, so I can move this any way I want. Yes, I can put it behind text. Uh, that's under your picture settings. Okay, you can do text wrapping, and I've done this behind text anyway. Okay, you see that? The adaptive cursor, look at this. I've got the two arrows now. And if I go over here, look, I can adjust it. So I've got adaptive cursor for Microsoft Word. Now, it's also adaptive to text as well. So if I go float around here, I can uh, select anywhere where I want to put the cursor. So for example, if I missed out the A here, I could insert an A for health. Um, instead of carries, I could say, oh, carry, okay, carry, whatever. I can basically put the cursor on a text field anywhere I want. I could highlight as well. So for example, if I want to highlight from, let's say I don't want to highlight from the beginning of the word. Okay, I want to highlight from, I don't, I don't know, for example, from the eye. You see that? I can start highlighting from the eye. So the cursor is very adaptive and it's very content aware. I can go ahead and highlight text. Okay, I can uh, edit, so I can put it right here in the A, take off the A from information. Yeah, it's very content aware. I can go ahead and I can uh, make adjustments to whatever the content is on the document. So that's brilliant. Uh, another thing that I want to mention here is the scrolling. I mean, talk about fluid. They use this word fluid, okay? Fluid navigation. Oh my God, it is fluid navigation. So if I like really pinch to zoom in here and then, I mean, you could pinch to zoom and make it very small, make it very big, yeah? That's fine. But the scrolling, the vertical scrolling is very fluid. In fact, even like the horizontal scrolling, look, I can move it horizontal. Horizontal scrolling and vertical scrolling is really, really good. Where you'll see the benefit of that, okay, the fluid navigation is in Excel. So let's go ahead and open up an Excel file. Uh, so you, again, look, you see you presented with this uh, new layout, okay, this new start screen. Let's go ahead and open up a book. I don't know which one. Let's just open up a book here. Okay. So adaptive scrolling look at this yeah very fluid very fluid scrolling this uh, you couldn't do this before on microsoft excel before this update you didn't have uh, fluid navigation you couldn't you had to scroll using your finger scroll up and down now you can scroll very fluidly i mean this is a game changer anyway if anyone using uh, excel on the desktop will now be in familiar territory using excel on the ipad it is really par with the desktop uh, counterpart um, okay let's talk about highlighting cells you can very easily highlight cells okay so oh whoops i just copied it over so you can really quickly highlight cells. What I done by mistake, I clicked on this little dot here and I basically copy and pasted 204 in all the cells. So anyway, if I do grab that cell, look, I can very easily highlight cells. Uh, I can scroll very simply, look at that. All the other features, you know, the formulae import and all that stuff is still there. All of that is, is still relevant. So what's changed is the fluid navigation in Excel. You can very easily scroll up and down, left and right, okay? And it's, it is very fluid, okay? They've used an appropriate word for that. It works really well. Pinch and zoom works really well as well. It did anyway, but now the navigation is very fluid. Um, and it is content aware. So for example, if I click on this picture now, my cursor will change okay depending on the content so you can see here you can see that the cursor i've got this four arrow cursor i can move this around very fluidly very easily okay so you've got precise adjustments now look i've got precise adjustments 
to what I want to do with the content that is on Excel. Okay, the same is true for a PowerPoint. If I go onto a PowerPoint, the same is true. The fluid navigation is very, very good. Okay, there's a book review that my daughter was doing on Stickman. Again, look, it's very, it's content aware. So can you see what's happening? I've got my cursor. When I go into the picture, it changes. So it's very aware. Um, and if I really zoomed into here, then uh, scrolling works really well as well. Okay, vertical and horizontal scrolling works really well. Um, again, look, it's content aware, it adapts uh, to the ribbon really well as well. Okay, another thing that I wanna show you, and it, this is really quite powerful. Before the update, you could not get two Excel sheets uh, side by side. Now, let me show you this, yeah? Let me go to Excel. And so I've got this sheet here open. If I go back down to Excel and I drag uh, another Excel sheet, it does allow me to open up uh, another sheet here. So let's go to this uh, nutrition data. Okay, fruit nutrition data. So look at this, I've got, I can just pinch this. Okay, pinch this as well. And this is where the scrolling, the fluid scrolling really comes into play. So if I've got this at a reasonable zoom level, uh, I can actually scroll around very fluidly, very easily to go and see, look, because look, this is quite small now, isn't it? So I wanna, I wanna zoom this at a reasonable level. And, and so now, look, I can scroll around really fluidly, look at the trends, look at the data, okay, uh, very simply like this. You'd be surprised, not only can you do split screen, you can have a slide over app as well. I can open up another Excel as a slide over. Would you believe that? Look at this. So let's open up another document here. Uh, not uh, a document, another Excel a spreadsheet here, look at this, I've got three spreadsheets, why would you do that? Maybe you've got data that you've got in one uh, Excel spreadsheet and you wanna copy it over or you wanna make a graph in a, in a second or a third Excel spreadsheet. Look at this, I've got a slide of an app as well as a split screen of two Excel spreadsheets here. So you can in fact, and look, the scrolling is superb, yeah? The scrolling is superb. You can do the same with a PowerPoint. So in fact, let's say, look, I can even open up a PowerPoint here. Look at this. I've got a PowerPoint as a slide over. I've also got my Excel. You know what? I can even put a word there as well. Look, I can even have a, a word file. So technically, I could have an Excel, um, a PowerPoint, and a Word file all open at the same time, okay? Or I can have two Excels, two Word files open at the same time. So look, look at this, yeah? I've got my two uh, Excel spreadsheets here. Let's get rid of this slide over. Okay, I can work on this. You can copy and paste, of course. I can take data from here. So I can just go ahead and I could, uh, let's say, copy this. So Control or Command C. And then I could Command V over here and I could copy and paste data across these two Excel sheets. Let me get rid of that and I'll show you. I can also open up two Word files, okay? So here's another Word, here's Word. And I can open up another, um, let's open up something here. Okay, five day trip. So I've got two Word files here and I can copy and paste content to and fro. So for example, this picture, if I command copy that picture and let's say over here, command paste it, I can easily do that between documents. Okay, now check this out. <laughs> a lot of you are using PowerPoint. I'm gonna do the same thing with PowerPoint, but look at this though, yeah? So let me open up PowerPoint here. I've got my first PowerPoint. And let's say I go down and I open up another PowerPoint as a split screen, okay? There was, uh, where is it? Stats probability, here we go. Okay, now check this out. What I can do is, for example, I've got one, I've got my stats probability PowerPoint on one side and I've got my stickman review on, on another side. Let's say you, someone sent, your colleague sent like a PowerPoint, like the stats probability one, and you want you to take a few slides out that you, you know, were you gonna use in your class. So can you copy and paste slides from one PowerPoint file to another PowerPoint file? Yes, you can. So look at this. Very simply, let's just say I'll go to, um, you know, 4.1 graph and circle graphs. I'm gonna go double click this, copy. I can go to this PowerPoint over here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it. So look, I've got the same slide on both PowerPoints by copying and pasting. Now, why doesn't this have the same um, design? Because when I copy and paste it, it's gonna to continue to uh, retain the same uh, design aspects of this PowerPoint. So this PowerPoint is, yeah, I don't know what it is, it's a black, you know, just black and white. And this one's got this colorful blue with purple stripes in it. So it doesn't copy over the design aspects, but it does copy over all the content, okay? And again, um, it's content aware. So if I click on this, 
you know, look, can you see that cursor changing? Can you see the cursor's changing for the text? So I could literally, I could, look, if I zoom into this, I could go into each word and really precisely, for example, let's just say I want to take out this R, you see, I can delete the R from there, or if I'm manufacturing, instead of manufacturing, maybe it was manufacture, I can go to this ING, delete it, and put in an E there. So I can very easily adapt uh, content on the slide over here in PowerPoint. Okay, if I've got a picture or if I've got um, a text box, I can adjust, look, see that? I can adjust the text box, okay? The width of the text box. Really, really precise adjustments. Um, so I hope you benefit from that. You can use Microsoft PowerPoint, Word and Excel in split screen. Even you can even have a third slide over. They mentioned it was a phased rollout. Okay, so if you haven't got the update yet, don't worry. Give it a couple of weeks, it should be coming through. Uh, also, Microsoft, don't forget, Office is a subscription-based platform. Um, so you'll get these features once you've subscribed to Microsoft Office. The same that it stands on the desktop version anyway. Okay, so what else can I tell you? That's it. If you're interested in more EdTech videos, make sure you subscribe and we're pumping out a lot more videos. Uh, check out some of these playlists. I've done a few videos on the Microsoft uh, using, uh, using Microsoft on the iPad. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.